Pretty cool. TV says at 69 Bobby Lowell. This is actually pretty cool. And look at that texture. Isn't that freaking cool, man? So it's going to have like a shiny look now, but once everything settles down, it's more of a satin. Even more of like a satin kind of vibe going on with this thing here. It's a little orphan Annie. Should be way in there. Work it, go to work. I got Missy Elliott just popped in my head. Like, flirty, flirty, flirty. Joe asks, would using a large syringe be good for getting oil down in those checks? Uh, it may. It may. Usually, if you put enough on there, it eventually soaks over into it. I'm not overly super duper duper concerned with it, to be honest with you. Never had anything to come back like, oh crap, I should have. When you do this number like that, it literally seeps down in there really well. Enough where you can see it. You know, you're not going to be able to see any kind of difference. Dude, that is looking pretty damn cool, man. Let's go with the Danish show. Full sin, Joe. Full sin. Here in about 10, 15 minutes, we'll come back and wipe all the excess off of it. But I do notice this outside edge here soaks a lot in, so I'm going to make sure... Look at there, a piece of wood that considered, I thought was completely, totally trash, just literally made a very, very artsy, fartsy, pretty cool little decorative piece that's going to look badass on somebody's desk. This is going to look badass on somebody's desk. I think it's going to look pretty damn cool. Slackatron says, gone are the days of a 55-gallon drum of Danish oil to dip your wood into. I know, right? Matt Texas Cryptid asks, where did the wood come from? Uh, this Cryptid, this came from, this piece here came from Philips Forest Products. Now, what this wood is, these are cutoffs. These are cutoffs of their mantles. So he had some, and I didn't know what I'm buying. I was, well, I know better now. And I kind of knew, but I got some good pieces out of it, but I had a lot of wood that's checked out. Because usually for their mantles... Uh, it's it's the pith sections of the log. So imagine the pith section of the log is what a lot of they make a lot of their mantles out of it. Uh, so they had that kind of cool rustic, you know, live edge and well, not live edge, snow. But anyway, this is usually cutoffs of the end of it. Jock says, "Have you ever turned red elm?" My sister gave me a eight by four bowl blank for Christmas. Yes, I have, and it actually elm is not bad at all. Elm is not bad at all, dude. You'll enjoy it. I like red elm. That Texas cryptid says, oh, neat. 